with the good and the bad and the ugly, the truth about working with Elon. Bad or good? I don't know. Let's dive into this video and see what it is. The truth. Is Elon an evil demon? <laughs> or is he an angel? Let's get active. Sorry from Apple. And I started getting these emails. George, Elon Musk would like to speak to you. Give me a call. <laughs> Delete. I mean, I, I assume this was junk mail. Elon got on the phone and we started chatting. Why don't you come work for the company? I was like, I've retired. And I need to spend time with my wife and kids and stuff. And he said, come out, to, come out to LA. I met with Elon and I thought he was special. He asked me, you know, if you were going to bring Tesla EVs to market, how would you do it? I said, well, I'd do it just like Apple. There's a whole education thing we had to go through at Apple. And there's going to be a whole education thing we're going to have to do with EVs. How much does it cost to charge? And how do I charge this? And there's all these questions out there. The Roadster was proof of concept. Model S was the first car that was really meant for people to drive like a regular car. We would talk to people about the car and show it to them and all that. And then they'd say, well, how do I get one of these? And with a straight face, we would look them in the eye and we would say, well, give me $5,000 today and I'll, I'll give you a car in a couple of years. And they go, what? They go, yeah, you give me a $5,000 deposit today and we'll send you a car in a couple of years. <laughs> they go, you're kidding. They go, no, no, that's what we do. We'll give you a reservation number. And uh, unless you want one of the first thousand. If you want one of the first thousand, you got to give me forty thousand dollars today, and I'll send you a car in a couple of years. And people did it. I joke. Woo! And people did it. No, those were early enthusiasts. I wouldn't have gave you nothing. But shout outs to those people who gave up the money. Now, guys, that's rough and tough business, right? At the beginning, it's rough. It made no sense, but definitely they were making a way. So that's very interesting. Kind of get that understanding. And at the beginning, they were like, "Man, give us about four K." And we'll holler back in about two years, you know, 15 years. And then give me 40 and you can get the first thousand. I wonder how much those cars run for actually now. Mm, collector's item. Probably in the future. Give it some time. So that's very interesting. Bootstrapping the business. Hustling. Shout outs to the hustlers at the beginning. Now, let's listen to the next lady. Jokingly describe myself as the Pied Piper of super nerds. My role is essentially to go find people a thousand times. Now, hold on. Let me pause this. 2008 to 2013, Dolly, head of talent, SpaceX. Remember that we have to highlight people like this because we're always heightening Elon Musk, Elon Musk, Elon Musk. Shout outs to him. But at the end of the day, it is people like this who hire great people. And as she said, the Powell Piper getting the best talent. That's something that Elon is good at, assembling great teams. Sometimes smarter than me. Get them excited about solving a really hard problem. One of the ways that we explained what the SpaceX culture was, and this was in order to be really honest with people, SpaceX is special forces. We take on the missions that others deem impossible. This will be the hardest thing you will ever do in your life. It is the kind of personality that wants to be a Navy SEAL, the engineering equivalent of that. Ooh, yeah, she got a talent. Navy SEALs on engineering. Oh, yeah. Hire that girl. Shoot, if I get a company in the future, I'm hiring her. It will be bruising and punishing and uncomfortable every day. Growth is rarely comfortable. If you are comfortable, you are probably not growing. To work for Elon is to be comfortable uh, in a constant state of discomfort. He has 10,000 times more what the average person has streaming through their brain any given time. Our ability to think about and analyze a problem is nothing compared to how his brain works. Elon aspires to be like the greatest engineer in the history of the world. He does have the cognitive force power of the geniuses that we have seen come before us. But he's not Einstein. I think he is smarter than Einstein. Elon tweeted, Ooh, smarter than Einstein. I might have to rename the streams. Elon is smarter than Einstein. That's what I'm going to do. Man, I mean, like, these are people who work close with the guy. It's not like they're drinking on a Kool-Aid. They have worked close. They have seen his ability to execute. He is a genius. Guys, if he wasn't, I would say he's not. Like, I'm not, sh like, just look at the proof. Don't ask me what I think. Look at the results. When you look at just SpaceX alone, that's all that needs to be said. And when you look at a factory, on some of the videos I have shown and walk through the process of the factory, this is why I think investing in companies like SpaceX, right? One of the companies I do hold has just been amazing because I'm investing in the best people, the best engineers. Unlike other companies where normies are just packing sand and just drinking wine on tap and enjoying a free paycheck. 
when I know that I'm owning equity in SpaceX or Tesla, it's the best employees in America and possibly in the world. Tesla will be profitable in Q1 2013. <laughs> Should we talk about this? We had to deliver 4,750 cars. In Q2 of 2012, we delivered 12 cars. He asked us to do the impossible, um, but it, he modeled that himself. So, you know, how are you going to tell the hardest working man in the world that like, no, I can't get that done? It was tough. I mean, now make sure y'all understand that the general telling people to do the impossible, but he's in the trenches with you. And that's a quality that most CEOs don't have. So you guys are all here investing in other companies and they're not saying those CEOs are not doing a good job, but none of them work harder than Elon Musk. <clears throat> Some were out here partying on July 4th on a yacht and surfing with the American flag. Shout outs to having fun and living your life. YOLO. But Elon was out there building out Cortex and getting 100,000 GPUs up so that we can have full self-driving and artificial intelligence in real world in a real way. Hmm. Four hours of sleep at night. My wife left and went to Florida. You know, she left in around the 15th of February. She said, I can't watch you anymore. It was the toughest month I ever worked. He assumed that we weren't doing enough fast enough to deliver enough cars in Q1 of 2013. Uh, too little, too late. He kept saying, too little, too late. There were moments when he would get, he would definitely get upset and you've you know heard of him firing people on the spot. Yes, all of that happened. When Elon was behaving badly, I would kind of liken it to a toddler, right? Like that was having a tantrum about something or upset about something. Yeah, my desk is in the factory. It's just right over there. I can show you where it is. So. Uh, we, he wants to take it by his desk. He, he moved his desk over to near my desk so that he could watch what was going on every single day. I think it's important uh, for a leader to be at the front lines. My biggest challenge is ramping up production. And so what's that about? It's about being in the factory and understanding where the issues are. And so I want the very opposite of being up in an ivory tower. I want to be in the middle of the battle. Uh, and and so that means putting my desk in the middle of the factory. So it's, that, that's where it is. It's a, it's a noticeably clean desk with the exception of the award. Yeah, I, I mean, it's got, uh, I guess it's my Photo Trend Award, my sunglasses and then coffee. Um, yeah, this is my this is my desk. There were a number of times that I witnessed. See, you're in the trenches with the troops. You're in the battlefield. And a lot of people, oh, man, that's just for show. No, it's not. People seeing him as employees walking in and out like, dang, you on sleep sleeping here tonight. But that's what I want to see. I want to see the general out here getting it. At least me as a warrior and a troop. You normies who pack sand and eat Subway, I can't talk for you. But all I know is that what I want to see. If I'm out here bleeding and sweating, I want to see the general out here working, not in an ivory tower, sitting, taking a town's car, Walter Isaacson, and living a high quality of life while we out here in the trenches, sacrificing our family, personal time, and everything else that comes with it. We're going above and beyond. I want to see the CEO and the general do the same. Witnessed Elon sleeping in the factory, showing people how important it is to be focused on um on finding a solution because if Elon Musk can take the time to sleep there and be there 24 hours a day, everyone else should make the time. <sighs> Factories ramping up, you know, and they're building cars, but it's going to be close. Could they build enough? And we're halfway through the quarter and we weren't making it. We were not making it. And I'm pretty emotional here because this was really a tough time. Um, and we started bringing in people from Europe, bringing in people from all over to help deliver cars. The IT team was washing cars. Other departments marketing was driving them to the other end of the parking lot. And uh, I started a, an email trail to Elon every night, telling him, here's how many you sold, here's how many delivered, here's how many we have deposits on, and here's here's where we stand. And it didn't look good. It did not look good. And he would I would send it to him at 11.30, he'd respond back at 11.35. And it just didn't look good, and he let me know. Then on the Tuesday, the last week of the quarter, I sent him one and I remember it as if it was yesterday. He said, this looks promising. And it was Saturday at three o'clock. Mm -hmm. We delivered the 4,750th car, three o'clock. We made $11 million that quarter, put us over the hump, stocking from $20 to $90 and Tesla became a viable company. I stood up on a desk like this 
called everybody around and I said, you guys have no idea how impactful it is what you just did. You can't understand it, but what you just did is monumental, not just for Tesla, but for what we're going to do for mankind. You should all feel extraordinary sense of accomplishment. We were a real company on March 31st, 2013. SpaceX. Where all the haters were saying they weren't. And people put in blood, sweat, and tears. Shout out to those early workers and employees who really bled on the front lines. And thank you for your service. Something that's not said to people in the private sector, but said to people like me that's troops. Without you guys, America wouldn't be as valuable as it is. It wouldn't have the opportunities that it has, economically speaking, for people to change their life and change not only their life, but their family's life. People wouldn't sacrifice their life coming over here on a raft in a boat, in a train for an opportunity because we know we the big dogs in the world, America, and we have that opportunity. And it's great companies like Tesla, the most American made car to really lead the way. And that's what Tesla is doing. And Tesla employees are really bleeding out there. So it's much respect. I'm not one of those trolls on the internet hoping you guys fail because I feel some type of way about Elon and his Twitter escapades. I want staff, employees that work hard and bleed on the front line to make a great company that's very valuable that other countries would pray that they have better again and great. Sex is fundamentally a vehicle to make a thriving future for humanity in space possible. You cannot do that with $200 million rockets. That is the equivalent of buying a yacht, sailing it from here to France, and then essentially setting it on fire. That makes no sense. I think he's an incredible gift to the world. He is arguably the best leader on the face of the planet. I would take the bad with the good, uh, because if you mess with the recipe, you might mess with the magic. His brain is fundamentally more efficient. There are times where like, I might think I disagree, but like he's probably like thought it through in a way that I haven't thought about it. If he asks me to jump, I'm gonna ask him how high. Exactly, I, I from facts, Apple. F facts. <laughs> like, shout out to her, she said it the best. <laughs> like his results prove. And someone else who's telling me not to listen to him and listen to their advice, they're an 80th time loser. <laughs> they haven't done anything in the galaxy to warrant an actual valid opinion in my mind. Execute, rookie, and then I'll possibly listen to you. But if you're not putting up Elon numbers, when you talk, I fall into slumber. That's how it is. So much respects to Elon. Yeah, definitely. SpaceX and creating reusable rockets. Come on. That's like driving a 250 million yacht to France and then burning it and destroying it. He made them reusable, saves massive amounts of money from the government. And so, I mean, we're really going to make space travel and space exploration affordable at a better price, just like everything else in all products and items and services that have been evolved over the time and have grown in technological ways. Much respect. People will call her crazy or call us crazy. I can care less. I forgot the profession is twisting doorknobs. I'm not worried about a door twister. Shout outs to everybody. Obstacles to opportunity. Everyone hates Tesla, but I'm going to relabel this as Elon is smarter than Einstein. Debate me in the comment section. You know I'm going to get at you, and I'm going to be active in the comment section. Like, share, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you guys can get these videos. You can get this heat when you're trying to deal with Tesla. Don't mess or bet against Elon. And look at the muscles, man. We ready for war. We ready. We ready for life.